Good evening from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. You're looking live at Space Launch Complex 40 at neighboring Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, where a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is awaiting a launch opportunity tonight at 10.10 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 2.10 a.m. UTC. I'm Stephen Clark, editor of SpaceFlightNow.com, and I'll be carrying, carrying you through the remainder of the countdown and the 15-minute launch sequence this evening. The mission is to deliver 50 more, 54 more Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. However, the weather conditions locally here on Florida's Space Coast are somewhat uncertain, iffy, whether they'll be cleared in time uh, to allow this launch to proceed at 10.10 10 p.m. We've seen lightning flashes in the sky over the last few minutes, as well as uh, steady rainfall. You may be able to hear some of those raindrops falling on our camera. Uh, position here at the Kennedy Space Center. Here's a radar view showing uh, some of the rainfall in the area as well as lightning strikes off to the south, uh, some of which have been uh, just south of Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, just south of the launch pad. So the weather team will be monitoring those lightning strikes as well as the cloud cover overhead to make sure those clouds uh, don't contain uh, a dangerous electrical charge that could actually cause the rocket to trigger lightning as it climbs through the atmosphere. So those are the weather concerns that'll be that the team will be monitoring throughout the countdown. Uh, right now, there is a phase two lightning warning in effect across the Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center area at all the launch pads, including pad 40. So that uh, means there is a threat of lightning in the area. And uh, with that phase two lightning warning in effect, uh, the launch uh, would not, not likely be allowed to proceed uh, at this time. However, as you can see in the upper right, there's an hour and eight minutes left until tonight's launch opportunity uh, to allow time, hopefully, potentially, for this weather to clear. Tonight's launch opportunity, again, is at 10.10 10 p.m. Eastern time. That's 2.10 a.m. UTC. This will mark the 40th launch of the year from Cape Canaveral or the Kennedy Space Center, extending the record number of uh, space launches in the calendar year. This will be the 42nd launch of the year by SpaceX, also a company record. In about 32 minutes, uh, we expect to hear the call from SpaceX's launch director on whether the team will be proceeding into the terminal countdown that 35-minute countdown sequence uh, will involve the loading of liquid propellants into the Falcon 9 rocket. And uh, even if the weather is red or no-go at that time, the team could decide if there's enough of a chance for the weather to clear to proceed into the terminal countdown, start loading propellants in hopes that the weather will become green or go before launch time at 10.10 10 p.m. Eastern. This mission will be uh, carrying 54 more Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. Those satellites are currently buttoned up for launch inside the payload fairing on top of the 229-foot tall Falcon 9 on pad 40 right now. In this view, you can see the rocket uh, standing vertical. Just to the right of the vehicle is the strongback mast. That is the uh, structure that will retract away from the rocket at liftoff. And then on each side of the vehicle, there are two uh, lightning protection towers for four in total and those are in place to protect the rocket from l lightning strikes while it's vertical on the pad. So at uh, T minus one hour, five minutes, 39 seconds, we're about a half hour away from the expected start of propellant loading and we'll bring you updates uh, when we have them. In the meantime, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, uh, please like this stream. It really helps us uh, gain a bigger audience and bring this live coverage to you and to more people. We did just see another lightning flash uh, in the sky. You may have seen that flash here in this view of pad 40. So the weather continues to be um, 
not ideal for a launch this evening, but still an hour and five minutes to go until liftoff time.
Now T minus 58 minutes and counting. So 58 minutes remaining until tonight's launch opportunity at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern time, 2, 10 a.m. UTC. All of the uh, launch facilities across Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Kennedy Space Center remain in a phase two lightning warning at this time. We're still seeing occasional flashes of lightning in the sky and uh, light but steady rainfall here at the Kennedy Space Center. This camera is located about four miles away from the Falcon 9 rocket on Space Launch Complex 40, awaiting liftoff on a mission that's designated Starlink 4-34. And this mission is a dedicated flight for the Starlink Internet Network. It's, it's uh, carrying 54 more Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. And with tonight's launch, weather permitting, uh, SpaceX will go past the 3,300 satellites mark in terms of total number of satellites that have been launched into the Starlink network. Here you see a, a satellite picture showing uh, this blossoming thunderstorm uh, that's currently over the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, the heaviest activity is off to the south of Florida Space Coast, but uh, there is a steady rainfall here locally as well as some lightning. So the weather team will be monitoring uh, the clouds that are over the launch pad and along the flight path uh, as the Falcon 9 climbs through the atmosphere. The things they'll be looking for include anvil clouds, which uh, may have be blown off by upper level winds from uh, thunderstorms off to the south. Those anvil clouds can contain electrical charges and uh, cumulus clouds as well can contain electrical charges and uh, the weather team is not only concerned about lightning that is occurring but also lightning potential uh, because the Falcon 9 as all rockets can could trigger a lightning strike as it climbs through a charged cloud So now 55 minutes and 30 seconds remaining until tonight's launch opportunity. The time of tonight's launch is scheduled for 10, 10, 10. 10, 10 p.m. and 10 seconds Eastern time. And again, this mission is carrying 54 more Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. Now, about 20 minutes from now, uh, SpaceX's launch team is expected to begin loading propellants into the Falcon 9. About a million pounds of uh, kerosene and liquid oxygen will be pumped into the vehicle. And before that decision to load the Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX's launch team will receive a weather briefing from the launch weather officer who works for the uh, 45th Weather Squadron, which is part of the US Space Force, Space Launch Delta 45. That's the unit that operates and oversees the eastern range here at Cape Canaveral, and they're responsible for public safety for all launches originating from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station and Kennedy Space Center. Even if conditions are no-go or red at that time, at the time of uh, propellant loading, SpaceX could decide to proceed with loading of propellants uh, and take the countdown down to the final minutes before liftoff in hopes that the weather uh, becomes acceptable uh, in time for the 10, 10 p.m. liftoff. So we're going to continue to watch uh, live views of Pad 40 as we await uh, word from SpaceX's launch team over the next 15 to 20 minutes on whether they'll be proceeding with fueling of the Falcon 9 tonight.
Now less than 52 minutes remaining until tonight's launch opportunity, weather permitting. Let's take a look at the payload for tonight's mission. This is a file photo of a stack of Starlink satellites before a previous uh, launch. So this uh, is representative of what the Starlink satellites look like inside the payload fairing of the Falcon 9 rocket and launch configuration. They're stacked one on top of the other, and each of these flat-packed uh, satellites weighs between uh, 250 and 300 kilograms, a little more than a quarter ton. And in this photo, you can see one half of the Falcon 9's payload fairing shroud uh, moving into position to encapsulate these Starlink satellites. These satellites are held down onto the rocket with four retention rods. And the way SpaceX deploys the satellites uh, once in space from the rocket is to uh, essentially jettison these, these retention rods. And that allows the Starlink satellites to deploy. And they naturally spread out through a dif differential drag, sort of like a uh, deck of cards. And they spread out in orbit before they unfurl their solar panels and uh, begin maneuvers to climb up into the Starlink constellation. So for tonight's mission, there are 54 Starlink satellites on board. I mentioned each one of these weighs a little more than a quarter ton. And combined, the satellites weigh about 16.7 metric tons. That's roughly 36,000 pounds. And uh, each of these Falcon 9 missions that are, that are carrying 54 satellites uh, are hauling the record weight of a payload into orbit for, for a SpaceX mission. Uh, these satellites combined together are heavier than uh, SpaceX's Crew Dragon or Cargo Dragon spacecraft, for example, and they're heavier than any other satellites uh, that SpaceX launch has launched on any of its Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy missions to date. The satellites are built by SpaceX on an assembly line in Redmond, Washington, near Seattle, and tonight's mission will be carrying these uh, 54 Starlink satellites into a preliminary transfer orbit about uh, 150 to 200 miles or so in altitude and once they're deployed from the Falcon 9 they'll use their own, own propulsion systems using a Krypton field ion engines to climb up to the operational altitude of 335 miles or 540 kilometers. These satellites are targeting what's called Group 4 of the Starlink network. So the Starlink network has uh, five shells or layers of satellites in different altitudes and different inclinations. Uh, this mission is going to Group 4, hence the mission name Starlink 4-34, and uh, will be targeting an inclination of 53.2 degrees to the equator. If you're not familiar with the Starlink uh, network, consumers uh, can Sign up for the service at Starlink.com, and uh, they'll receive an antenna that looks like this one to connect to the Starlink satellites as they fly overhead, providing uh, consumer-grade, low-latency, broadband internet service. SpaceX says the uh, Starlink service is currently available to consumers in 40 countries around the world, with more to come online soon. And SpaceX has uh, also started uh, working on mobility services for the Starlink network, to connect to uh, ships, RVs, cars, and other users on the go. Right now we're at T-minus 48 minutes and counting, so just to look ahead at what to expect in the remainder of the countdown, if the countdown is able to proceed all the way down to liftoff this evening. At about T-minus 38 minutes, in about 10 minutes time or so, we expect to hear that the team is go or no go for propellant loading. If they're go, that propellant loading will begin with the start of the automa automated countdown sequencer at T minus 35 minutes. The propellant loading procedure will begin with pumping RP-1 or rocket grade kerosene into both stages of the Falcon 9, as well as liquid oxygen into the first stage. Liquid oxygen won't begin loading into stage two until about T minus uh, 16 minutes or so. And then in the final 10 minutes of the countdown, there will be several major uh, milestones at about T minus seven minutes. The Merlin 1D engines on the bottom of the Falcon 9's first stage will be chilled down for ignition. This is a process to a thermally condition. Uh, those nine booster engines for the startup sequence, and then this involves loading, uh, flowing 
uh, small amounts of uh, liquid oxygen, which is chilled down several hundred degrees below zero through the engines to condition those components for the uh, faster, more rapid flow of propellant, super chill propellant during uh, flight. At about T minus five and a half minutes, the rocket should be fully fueled with kerosene. And then at about T minus two minutes, the uh, liquid oxygen loading will be terminated. And at that point, SpaceX will have a fully loaded, fully fueled rocket, weighs about uh, 1.2 million pounds with all of its propellant on board. And then at T minus 60 seconds, the uh, countdown will be turned over to the Falcon 9's onboard computer, which will oversee the final uh, minute of uh, launch preps, including pressurization of the propellant tanks. And the onboard computer on the Falcon 9 will also send the command at T minus three seconds to light the nine Merlin engines, leading up to liftoff when the clock hits T zero. After liftoff, the Falcon 9 will head northeast uh, from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This map shows a red line that uh, shows where the Falcon 9 ground track is located uh, for tonight's mission. It's heading northeast, as I said, uh, flying on a trajectory that roughly parallels the east coast of the United States. So after flying up the eastern seaboard, it'll be passing east of Cape Cod and just off the coast of the Canadian Maritime Provinces before heading out over the North Atlantic Ocean. And the satellites will be deployed, the Starlink satellites will be deployed from the Falcon 9 about 15 minutes after liftoff. And on this map, we've labeled the locations of uh, Space Launch Complex 40, which is the launch pad in use for tonight's flight, as well as the location of the SpaceX drone ship named Just Read the Instructions, which is holding position roughly 400 miles or 650 kilometers downrange from the Cape tonight in the Atlantic Ocean. As you can see in this map, that's roughly due east of Charleston, South Carolina. And the first stage booster is going to be attempting to land on that drone ship about eight and a half minutes after launch. Now T minus 44 minutes and 30 seconds. We're back with a full screen view of pad 40. Now less than 10 minutes from the expected start of propellant loading. The team right now uh, is beginning or will soon begin a, an electronic pole to determine if all stations are ready to proceed into the terminal countdown sequence. T minus 43 minutes and five seconds. You're continuing to look live at pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. You may see occasional flashes of lightning and you're also uh, maybe hearing the sound of raindrops hitting our camera. There's still a light but steady rainfall here at Kennedy Space Center looking across uh, toward Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in this view and this is a weather radar showing uh, the rain continuing to fall uh, right here over Cape Canaveral. Again, the heaviest activity, as you can see, is well off to the south, but uh, there is still some uh, lightning in the area here ar around the spaceport, as well as rainfall. The rain itself is not a concern, but the lightning, of course, is a concern for launch this evening. We've also, uh, in this view, uh, you may have seen occasional views of uh, fireflies uh, lighting up uh, in the night here at Kennedy Space Center. There's another one there. Now 42 minutes until liftoff, uh, weather permitting.
Two minutes, 40 minutes and counting. We're standing by for word from SpaceX's launch team on whether the propellant loading sequence will begin at T-minus 35 minutes. We'll bring that to you when we hear it. In the meantime, uh, we're going to invite you to go to our Spaceflight Now store. You can go to shop.spaceflightnow.com. And there you'll find a selection of various mission patches uh, for SpaceX and NASA missions. And the latest arrival is the Crew-5 patch. This is the next SpaceX crew mission heading to the International Space Station. Be carrying a team of uh, two NASA astronauts, a Japanese astronaut, and a Russian cosmonaut to begin a half year on the International Space Station. This launch is currently scheduled for October the 3rd from here at Kennedy Space Center on a Falcon 9 rocket. Again, this mission will be heading to the International Space Station and you can purchase the patch on shop.spaceflightnow.com. Weather forecast that we expect to continue to have violations of uh, lightning rules uh, at T zero, uh, folks. Let's go ahead and set up for a 24-hour recycle. Launch time tomorrow will be, and local time will be 21 hours, 48 minutes, 40 seconds. That's zero one forty-eight forty UTC. If you were listening, you may have just heard the call from... Yeah, launch control. Go ahead and uh, give us an announcement that you're ending Countdown Master. Copy that. Aborting Countdown Master. You're hearing audio from SpaceX launch control. Tonight's launch has been scrubbed due to lightning in the area here at Cape Canaveral. We've been watching the weather situation evolve over the last couple of hours with uh, rain and lightning uh, on the ebb and flow here all along Florida's space coast and the lightning will uh, indeed prevent launch this evening. So SpaceX has declared a scrub and will set up for another run at launch of the Starlink 4-34 mission tomorrow night at 9.48 p.m. Eastern Time, 1.48 a.m. UTC. So again, the Falcon 9 rocket will remain on planet Earth tonight. No launch this evening from Cape Canaveral. The next opportunity will be tomorrow night, Wednesday night, at 9.48 p.m. Eastern Time, that is 1.48 a.m. UTC Thursday. So Wednesday night, local time here in Florida, Thursday morning UTC. If you're just joining us, the latest news is tonight's launch has been scrubbed. So the Falcon 9 rocket that you're looking at right now will not be flying tonight. The next opportunity will be tomorrow, Wednesday night at 9.48 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, this mission is set to carry 54 Starlink Internet satellites into orbit. Before we sign off for the evening, we want to uh, invite you to consider becoming a member of our YouTube channel. We have different membership tiers available for you to choose from. We thank those of you who have joined tonight. And if you haven't joined, uh, please consider becoming a member of Spaceflight Now's YouTube channel. This really goes a long way to help us bring you live coverage like we're bringing you for this mission and other launches here in Florida. And also our coverage on spaceflightnow.com of uh, space activities around the world. We'll be back tomorrow night 
for another countdown for the Starlink 4-34 mission. Again, launch tomorrow is at 9.48 p.m. Eastern Time, 1.48 a.m. UTC. Weather conditions may still be iffy tomorrow. The latest forecast we've seen issued earlier in the day today projected a 50% chance of uh, unfavorable, unfavorable weather for tomorrow's launch opportunity. So 50-50 odds, again, just as they were tonight uh, for tomorrow night's launch attempt. So until tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm Stephen Clark from spaceflightnow.com here at Kennedy Space Center. We'll see you next time.